guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. And today I'm gonna to go over my review on Sombra and how I feel she sums up so far. Maybe too strong or something that needs to be fixed or something that might feel too weak. Um, but so far, everything feels pretty solid. Now, Sombra, if you haven't seen the trailer, which I've pretty sure if you're watching this you're pretty curious about summer and you probably play overwatch with that said you have all sorts of questions especially if you live in the world of xbox or playstation 4. i for one play on pc you know i've had the chance to play on the ptr and actually get my hands on this character now i've messed around with her first in the actual training mode testing out all of her abilities she has four abilities she can teleport. Another ability she has is a hack, where she can go invisible. And the other one is her ultimate, obviously. She has a passive as well, where she can see enemies or allies. I can't remember if it's enemies or allies. It's one of the two. She can see them through walls, through certain situations. I'm not sure how that works, but I haven't really noticed it yet. Other than that, as a character, as a whole, she's very solid. And I'm gonna start off with her weapon first. Her weapon is pretty much a submachine gun, or they, they state that it's like a pistol machine gun, or whatever it may be. I feel that it's very balanced. Um, has 60 ammunition. Now, the range on it, the range specifically, is mid-range to up close. Now, mid-range, she does fair damage. It's not very potent, it's not very strong. But you can definitely, if you see an enemy in the distance and they have a little bit of life, you can close that gap and take them out. Now, up close, she's very deadly. So imagine, like, her gun being a mix between Tracer and Soldier 76. And so that means that, you know, you need to be in that range, and that's kind of where she belongs because she has the ability to go invisible. So I feel like, personally, her gun is really balanced. It doesn't feel overpowered. It doesn't feel underpowered. It feels just right. Now, her invisibility, super awesome. You, you don't just go invisible and walk around. She literally goes in a full-blown sprint when she's invisible. And she runs faster than Soldier 76 does in sprint. She bolts and she's out of there. But the one thing about it is she does, if she gets hit, or if you try to go invisible during a fight, if she gets hit or notice going invisible, it will, it'll take her out immediately. She won't stay invisible. So if you, she gets hit by a random, you know, a, a shot from somebody's weapon or gets hit on accident, she will come out of invisibility. So be aware of that as well if you're going against the Sombra. Her next ability is her teleporter. It's like a grenade, you can toss anywhere. Now I'll take note that this thing does not stick to walls or any like angled uh, areas. It only sticks to the ground. So if you hit a wall, it will bounce off and land wherever it lands. So be sure to place it in places that you feel comfortable and you know, don't accidentally bounce it off a wall and then, oh God, it's like right in the line of fire or in a skirmish somewhere. You wanna have it, you know, placed where you feel like you either A, need to get away, or B, you can ambush somebody. That's the way I use it. That's really good, I feel like it's balanced. Now, what I feel is unbalanced. To me, this character feels very overpowered when it comes to her hack ability. A, I might be <laughs> just not used to it yet and learn how to have to play against it. And B, I just feel like it's a little strong, just, just a little strong it's not like super powerful but it's strong enough to be like oh my god this is a little overwhelming basically uh her right click or would be i guess in like i guess in the xbox or playstation version i guess it'd be like your left click i would assume because you would shoot the right i i've never played on console so that's what i'm assuming so it'd be your uh secondary fire uh, so she has the ability to hack, you'll see her pull her hand up, and then she'll be hacking away at whatever enemy she wants, health pack, turret, that she wants to, to hack. Now during that process, it doesn't take long. Once it activates and fully has, you're fully hacked, if you're hacked, every single ability that you have as a character, you can no longer use it until the hack goes off, it goes away. And the hack is just where I feel like it's overpowered, is it lasts way too long. I feel like... Personally, it lasts way too long because it literally screws you. If you're in the middle of a fight, if Sombra doesn't kill you, one of her teammates will definitely, for surely, kill you. It's not, it's not, there's no getting away because 
you have no abilities. You have no defense at that point. She can do it from a really long range at that. I don't feel so bothered by that as much as how long it lasts. She, she can keep the range. It's, it's actually a good distance. It's like tracer range sh shooting or like I said, that, that sweet spot between Tracer and Soldier 76 where you want to be, right in the between them, and she can hack, I mean, pretty far. So yeah, it lasts really long. I feel like that should be tweaked just a little bit. That's just my personal opinion. Other people may feel different about that. And her ultimate is pretty much the same thing as her hack, except it does a big AOE blast and covers a large area. So if any of your teammates are in that blast radius, Nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, can use any abilities. If you activated something, it stops it. If you have a turret activated as Tribjorn, it stopped. If you're bat if you're Reinhardt, you can't use your shield. Nothing. Everything is shut down. That's what her ability is. It's really strong. So I feel like in situations if you can react to like Mercy's ult or Lucio's and hit it, boom, and stop it all together it's going to be very viable in this game like it's definitely a game changing thing like it definitely will sway it into your team's favor 100% kind of like well, okay they're going to go push and then we're going to stop the push she's that kind of character she stops it she puts a she, she just blows it up she just destroys the whole plan which is a good thing in my previous video I was talking about how healers that's what they're that's how they win games is they do put big pushes if their team's competent enough to understand what's going on, which most people do now. Sombra, crazy man, she's gonna be nuts. I feel like she's very fun to play though. She's very solid character. She's definitely gonna be fun to you guys who haven't had a chance to play her yet. Xbox One PlayStation guys, I'm talking to you. It, she's, a, she's a bunch of fun. I have a feeling she'll be balanced a little bit. I don't think anything but her hack should be adjusted just by shorting the duration of how long it lasts. It should last a little while, but at the same time, it shouldn't last so long where you can't defend yourself at a point. It is what it is. It's just like, you know, fighting against May and you get frozen and you get killed from a headshot. You should just know to keep yourself from that. But the thing is that Sombra can go invisible. You don't know when it's gonna happen. So I feel like, personally, it should be just tweaked. Maybe about two seconds. That's it. I'm not talking about an extreme nerf. Just a minor nerf, just very minuscule. Personal preference only. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when she's gonna come out. You, like, I'm kind of gonna going off of what the way they did Anna. Anna pretty much was in PTR for like a week or two, and then after that she was released into the full game. Her actual cosmetics, though, the way she looks as a character, I think she is dead on perfect. I think it's really cool. She looks very. I don't know, like Tron-esque. It's neat how they, they've approached this character. Um, her different skins look great. I feel like, some people feel like it's too bland. It's not a big extreme difference between her original and what she has. And I think that's okay. My favorite is her legendary, which is the, the purple and blonde hair. And she actually has a long braid. It's not like a, just a big swoop. It's like a long ass braid. But I think it looks really good. I think she looks very, well drawn, well designed out. Looks great. Love it. Absolutely love this character. Other than the fact that her axle. But anyways, that is my opinion. This is my review on Sombra. This is how I feel about Sombra. What do you guys feel like how Sombra is? Do you feel like she's a little too strong? Do you feel like she's a little underwhelming? Like she's just a little too weak? I don't know. I want to hear from you guys. Comment, down, comment me down below. I want to hear what you guys got to say. Your opinions on her. Have you come up with any cool strategies? Have I missed anything that I have not covered in this video? Let us know down below. I'd love to hear it. If you like this video, hit that like button. Get subscribed. That way you can see more content like you just have today. And keep up with all the stuff that I come up with here in the future. And cover all the different news facts. If you missed the last video, there it is. Check it out. It's up there at the top. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the support so far I've gotten. I've got some new subscribers to my channel. Thank you so much. I am definitely noticed every single one of you so far who have took the time and committed yourselves to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. It does. It means the world to me. It's in my eye. Wow. Okay. Thanks, guys. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.